It's Natalie of the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche. Let's make sure this is straight. <laughs> and I'm bringing you another video. This video is going to be about overlooked designers and why you should look for them. I have my computer here, my little laptop, so we can look up prices and things and availability. And uh, I also want to read some information Something, I, I did put it out there, what would you guys like to see on the, in the videos, I put it on the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche page, and I'd like to read you some of the feedback, which I thought was interesting. So, let me show you what I'm working on. This is how we always start, and notice I have fixed the reverse situation. There was a setting you can do, and uh, I'll tell you how to fix that. So there's a setting that says um, something to do with something, what, it, what was it? Something to do with uh, pre-reviewed, something like that. Anyway, I, I fixed it. Google is your friend, by the way. So Jesus Wept is over one in Gloriana Floss. And I have a feeling the Gloriana, which is over-dyed, it's Tudor silk, which is very thin. It would be like Soie Surfine. It might even be over-dyed Soie Surfine. I, I have a feeling that it is a uh, some, something from the attic. I bought this pre-kitted from Karen at the Cross Stitch Cupboard. It was in a box of pre-kitted things, and it was I, I bought this. So I don't know, I don't know the conversion because I actually put all the, the floss on little rings and I, I threw out the bags. Uh, I'm bad, but that's what I did. But I think the attic, this was from the attic. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm in love with it. This is about one third done. New finds, I don't have many. But I have four things to show you. One was actually sort of a freebie. Uh, first off is this was a gift from somebody at the Cross Stitch Cupboard. This very nice girl who collects, collects samplers. She has a, a wonderful collection. And the reason she bought this tape measure for me is that it seems to be a tape measure used for measuring children of some sort, babies. See? So, do you see that? Boys, girls, it's got all kinds of scales on it. And then, of course, it's got a regular measuring tape. And she thought me doing OBGYN, this would be really cool. And it is. Uh, I immediately also eyeballed it as a place to put a finish on each side. I have to find the right motifs, one little motif on each side. And this will be cool. So stay tuned. The next thing I found are these little baskets. How adorable. Now, first off, I showed you a nest finish. This little nest, or whatever it is, little tiny basket is going to be perfect for another nest finish. This one is really cool. It reminds me of a Nantucket basket. And, uh, little finishes. These are, are super. Um, now that I'm going to some retreats, now that I'm going to some retreats, I, I think that things like this will make very interesting and different items for exchanges. And also one day I want to have um, an, an exchange, as my husband goes by, uh, an exchange on the page, we did a, a, a Christmas uh, a Christmas ornament exchange about three, four years ago on our page, and it, it went very well. Uh, the only problem was two people didn't get their ornaments, and I was beyond upset about that. In fact, I had to make ornaments and send them. That's why I have not done this since. But I think we will have an interesting exchange where everybody does some, some cool finish. So these I found... These were thrifty finds and they were pretty inexpensive. Okay, and then I have another piece, what did I just do it here, of mason linen. I had shown you uh, 
a, a piece of mason linen before, and this one is antique button light. Um, quite nice. It totally reminds me of Lakeside Maritime White. It just does. And it's, I, I really love the color for samplers because I love a creamy color like this. It is a cream color, uh, just beautiful. It's, it's like a, I don't know, it's, it's just very creamy. And I, I'm just trying to think how to explain the color. I know I probably should pull out floss and I really could, but Anyway, it, it's just magnificent. It, it's really beautiful. And uh, like uh, a little deeper than Russian tea cake for legacy linen. And it really does remind me of maritime white. So a beautiful linen. This was not inexpensive. This was not frugal stitching, but I really like it. And it's 46 count. Um, I will tell you that this linen probably goes for about $40 a quarter, and I think that's a lot. Uh, on the other hand, this is uh, the real deal in terms of uh, high, highest quality stuff. So that was another find. So let's go to my page and see if I can read you some of the comments. Um, about what do people want? Okay, so we had a giveaway and the giveaway, let's see, can I find the comments? Where is it? Darn it. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Okay, here we go. Okay, so my question was, Looking for ideas, I want to have some interesting discourse, friendly discussion, and funky tutorials. I want to make some more videos and have more discussion here on the page. So I'm asking for input, suggestions, and more ideas. Here are some that I have. One, a frugal finish start to end tutorials and where I am going to do that. We're going to use a little basket or a cup or something, and I'm going to show you how to do that finish. I'm going to show you how to do some small framing and um, maybe uh, how to mount on a box. So each one of those, it's going to be its own video. So that's in the future. Um, two cross stitch charts, which no one talks about anymore. That is today's video. Uh, three, are there elites in the cross-stitch world? Um, that would have been one of those controversial videos, although I have nothing, nothing but nice things to say about who I consider to be a cross-stitch elite. So one day we'll do something like that. Uh, the top 10 cross-stitch designers, in my opinion, um, and the top 10 uh, in terms of sales and popularity. I was going to research it and give that to you. Symbolism in samplers, what different motives tell us? Well, the, the book I just read with the samplers from Europe has an entire discussion about motifs and a few pages of motifs. And I was very interested in those things I did not know, okay? A lot of things I did not know about symbolism. So uh, Susan Greening Davis, who is a, a incredibly talented person, a collector of exquisite uh, certain types of, of uh, samplers, she chimed in and say, I would do that with you. So it would be great maybe in the future. Uh, I think we will have it. We'll have a discussion with Susan Greening Davis, a tutorial that talks about um, all of the symbolism. So when you look at a sampler or something that you're making, you will now know, oh, this represents that. This represents 
that this is another name for Jesus. I did not know that that, that there were initials that were used for our Lord and Sa Savior Jesus. That's what the initial meant. Quite a few Christian Catholic um, Adam and Eve could be uh, don't look necessarily have to look like Adam and Eve. Sometimes they just look like a boy and a girl. I mean, the list goes on. Fascinating. So I thought that would be interesting. And then what I've learned from running a group, and those were some ideas that I put out there. So here's what people uh, said. I'm going to go through this. Um, Mary said the ins and outs of retreats. And then she said, I definitely like the motifs in the sampler. Um, another one, ways to fix mistakes you don't notice early enough to frog. I like that one. I like that. Um, another one. On one of your videos, you held up some floss on a floss drop. It said it had been cut the wrong way. Uh, what's the best way to cut over dyed floss? That might be in a hacks video. I'm going to have a hacks, cross stitch hacks video for sure. I'd like to see more finishing ideas, storage, useful items, stash storage, needle minder tutorial, easy peasy. I can't wait to do that one. Uh, ways to record your cross stitch. Well, I'm really bad, but I think I'm, I, I think the best way is on the back. And uh, then that Susan Greening Davis chimed in. Uh, another person said type sizes of needles. Um, another person stitchy setups where people stitch. Um, another one that said it's okay too. Apparently these are TikToks. Facebook Reels, I don't watch TikTok, but uh, they do come up on Facebook Reels occasionally I'll click on, and It's Okay To is going to be a great video. It's okay to do X, Y, Z, and we'll have a whole bunch. Uh, Patricia Geary says, stitching issues that arise with age and how to handle them. Perfect. I have my own vision issues. And then I would like to see more of the unknown designers. Okay, so since... Like two different people mentioned that, and it was my idea that I put out there. I actually thought today that would be a great video. Okay, so I guess we'll get to the meat of the video. I pulled out some finishes from these designers and a whole bunch of charts. Now, this list is not exhaustive. So if you are a designer and I left you off, don't, don't feel badly. It just means I don't have one of your charts, okay? So I've collected charts for a long time and I have quite a few, but it does, this is not an exhaustive list. This is just a list of designers that I know and I know they're, what they have and uh, that's it. But in my opinion, all of these designers are overlooked. So we're going to go through them, okay? This is in no particular order. This is just in an order that I pulled them out, okay? So, uh, Roveris. Roveris, um, for whatever reason, I don't see people talking about Roveris and stitching Roveris other than a few, uh, a few. And Roveris, just here's one that I have has beautiful designs and what and this even comes with embellishments and it, okay so I've seen a bunch of these and I think her designs are absolutely fabulous readily available um, and the, these are about 10 bucks 10 11 12 bucks something like that and I do think that she is uh, overlooked and underrated. Next, this is a company called Samplers Revisited. I believe some of these may be out of print. Let's go, um, a good place to look is eBay. Another good place to look is Etsy. Those are the two top ones you certainly could look on stash unloading pages. So let's look up and see if we have any, I haven't showed you the chart yet because I want to talk more. Um, samplers Revisited. 
revisit it. Let's look and see what's available and what the prices are. Samplers re revisited. Um, and there are a bunch on here and they range, let's go from lowest, they range from $6 to the highest, well, the highest I wouldn't pay attention, highest is 22 and there are gorgeous, gorgeous designs here. If you could see these, uh, I don't think you're going to be able to, I would show them to you. I mean, you want to see something adorable? Can you see that? I don't know. That's from this designer. I mean, cool, huh? So I don't know if these are out of print. I, I, I think they probably are, but Samplers Revisited. Actually, is this from her? Let me just make sure. Yep, Samplers Revisited. Has a whole bunch of, of reproduction samplers and other designs. This one is Catherine McNeil. Isn't that a beautiful sampler? And if you saw the colors, the colors are vibrant and purples and blues. This is a fantastic sampler and it's on my list of ones to start. And um, this was the fabric I have in there. This is, oh, this is Maritime White. I can show you. See, Maritime White. And uh, I, I wanna do this on, this might be a good one to do, uh, actually to use some of that Mason linen. I have it kitted up with Maritime White, which tells me I've had this a while because uh, you can't get Lakeside right now. Next. Threads of gold. Just here's a few. I probably have more. Um, let's get one with a good picture. Here you go. Dorothy Snowball. Fantastic, right? Fantastic. Um, and of course, I showed you this Jeanette Duncan. Okay, and I have one more I pulled out. I have, I definitely have others. I have some Christmas ones. This one is PA1808. It's just not a good picture. So, threads of gold, uh, most of these are out of print. Um, in fact, I think almost all of them are out of print. The, there were, there was a time where some people had like uh, some, some reintroduced, Kitten Stitcher reintroduced some samplers for a short period of time. She must have gotten permission from the person at Threads of Gold, and I apologize. I don't remember her name. Um, they are seen on a site called Emily. Um, I'm assuming that's the person. And, you know, they're just not really available. Threads of Gold charts are readily available, however, on eBay and the other sites. So let's look up Threads of Gold. Here's a helpful hint about buying on eBay and other site, uh, secondhand kind of sites. Uh, the problem with it is you might get something that's smoky, and it's happened to me a few times. So right now, before you commit to something, ask, do you smoke? Does this have any odors, including odors of basements, perfume, uh, dog, cat? And um, I'm pretty good right now. Everything, if I buy something, I ask up front, and I haven't gotten, had a problem. But in the past, before I asked, I did. And then, of course, people deny. Threads of gold, samplers. Um, let's see, uh, anywhere from $2.50. Let's look up what the highest one. Sometimes you want, you want to look up and see what um, it actually sold for. Let's go to sold. Um, embroidery cross stitch. It's giving me all kinds of, uh, we want embroidery patterns. Perfect. 
Uh, the highest one sold for 40 something dollars and actually somebody even had a set of eight of these that went for 21 which is a bargain. Uh, most of these are in the eight to ten dollar range at six, twelve, five. I mean cheap, relatively cheap, beautiful designs. Absolutely beautiful. I have a threads of gold to show you. That's why I pulled these out. This is Sarah Abrahams. Pretty much done with the called for floss. I'm sorry, there is a glare. Nothing I could do. Uh, and um, oh, and oh, on 46 count. Just the verse is over one. Everything else is over two. Little fine stitches. I thought this came out great. So that is a threads of gold sampler. Uh, I do have a few others I'd like to stitch one day. Okay. Next, Overlooked. Homespun Elegance. Sandra O'Sullivan has some phenomenal charts and samplers out there. I pulled this one out because I thought this is a fabulous sampler. It's called Unfinished. Um, to make an unfinished sampler is, it's so fun because it, there's something about it. There's just something about an unfinished sampler. Um, these colors, I did pull them, are really actually, this looks washed out, but I think it's just a photo, are really pretty and soft and spring-like. So the, these are just great, just to show you, um, a lot of these older are charts that look like this, which are quite easy to work from. And also, uh, this is good quality paper. So just to show, uh, the, these, these charts are gonna go for $5, five, six, seven dollars, relatively inexpensive. But there are some beauties out there. So let's take a look at um, Homespun, I know by the name, Homespun, the name of the designer, Homespun Elegance, Homespun Elegance, oops. Um, the most expensive chart went for, uh, it was a best offer and it said uh, $49.99 best offer, who knows what it really went for, it doesn't tell you. And this was Lucy Red, R-E-D-D. -D. And uh, a lot of these went, some of them went in the 20s, but they came kitted up. But most of them were $10, $12, maybe even five for a few of these. So these are over, these are not expensive. They are available and definitely overlooked. Next is handwork. Now, I believe handwork is now available from 1881 Stitchery. 1881 Stitchery is an interesting shop. She buys out old shops. That's what she does. She buys out old, and, and she also contacts some designers who are retired, I believe, and uh, buys the rights, okay? So she's got an interesting, she's got, has some on here. Let me see if she has handwork. I somehow think she might. Um, for whatever reason, this is a hard, I don't even see a, about products. Let's see if there's a, um, this is a slow sight, boy. <laughs> That's already annoying. Let's see, 1884, here we go, search site. Hand work. Let's see what we got. Hand work loading results. So there we go. Um, and yeah, there are, and they're all between $10 and $16. Hand work has some beautiful, beautiful samplers and small pieces. I thought I had another one in here from hand work, but um, this one is the Anna Eliza Prentice sampler, which is a little, what we call a spot sampler from the DAR, okay, all right, 
So very cute, very inexpensive. You can also find these the older copies on eBay. I don't know about what kind of copy you're getting from 1881 because she bought the rights and now she's got to print them. I don't, uh, these are paper. They're not cardstock and this is an old copy. So I'm not sure about the quality one way or another, but these are real, these are real pretty. Uh, Handwork. Check them out. Next, uh, this is my oldest whip. Somebody asked me to pull it out. I I'm going to. So why I've never finished this, I don't know, but I will. So uh, this is Moira Blackburn. Okay. And uh, this is from 1992. called the Three Things Sampler. It's beautiful, isn't it? And what a great verse. But Moira Blackburn has some fantastic pieces. Um, I'll pull it out. Hold on. Not going anywhere. Hold on. But I got to find it first. Pretty bad when I can't find the sampler. Hmm. All right, I don't remember, aha, as I go float around the room, here you go. Doo -doo. <laughs> so this is on Ada, and I actually bought this from Kitten Stitcher, or Shakespeare Peddler, when she had her Etsy store. And uh, why is this not finished? It's very close to being finished. Isn't that pretty? Because I didn't want to stitch on Ada, that's why. I think I can just finish the alphabet. No, I'm going to finish. It's back when I actually, you see, it's got a line through it. When I actually marked the line with, with thread. My oldest unfinished whip. Almost finished for no reason. Um, I don't know why. I think I spilled a little bit of something on here. I don't know, but this will be finished one day. <laughs> it was not my finest work, but I was a beginner back then, or fairly beginner. But Moira Blackburn. Let's see what they go for. Let's go back to eBay. Um, these may not be out of, uh, out of print. I don't think they are, but definitely overlooked. And um, I see some of these going for $14, $15. There's an awful lot of patterns. Let's see what they sold for. Just remember, people ask what they want to ask, but doesn't mean they get it. And they go for anywhere from, let's see, I see mostly $10, $12. $12. let us see, is this, there's some on here for three. Three, six, seven, and some of these are kits. So uh, you can definitely get a bargain. And the samplers, as I showed you, are really pretty. Next is a, uh, that's a homespun elegance. I already, we talked about that. Um, next is Honeycomb and Threads. Honeycomb and Threads is an Etsy, an Etsy person. Okay. Aren't these pretty? This came as a kit, and I think this is over, her designs are overlooked. I think they're quite nice, and these kits with the fabric are really nice. Let's see if they're even if they're still available. They should be. I hate to tell you about stuff that's not available, but it goes in the overlooked because I can't tell you if I've ever seen anybody post a whip from from Honeycomb and Threads. Let's see. Honey comb and threads. And um, her name uh, escapes me. Um, honey comb and threads cross stitch. Uh, Etsy drives me crazy because I think their their search is not very uh, is not very good. Honey comb and threads. Um, barn shops. 
honeycomb and threads. I don't know where it is. And then sometimes you have to, uh, you don't put any, when you look up shops, honeycomb and threads, hmm. Can't find it, but she did have a shop. Honeycomb and threads, why can't I find honeycomb and threads? See, stuff like this drives me nuts because I assumed it would be on here. Anyway, I'm sure you can find these. Probably search better than me. Let me see if I can find anything else. We'll use Google. Honeycomb and threads cross stitch. But definitely overlooked. Um, Primitive Mercantile looks like she sells some items. Has a Facebook page. I'm sure I liked it. Um... I'm sure they're here somewhere. Honeycomb and threads, cross stitch patterns. Um, I don't know. It's possible she's not making them anymore. That does not mean you cannot find them. So I put her in the overlooked because nobody's stitching it, but maybe nobody can find it. So honeycomb and threads, look for her Facebook page and see if there's anything for sale but I, I think these are overlooked. Next, the City Stitcher. So this looks old. Um, there, was a, a, there was a discussion about my use of the word dated. Most people understood it. One person quite didn't quite get what I was talking about. Um, you know what dated is. If I had big hair, that would be dated. Uh, this, at first glance, you'd say dated, but no. The cross stitch cupboard has this sampler from the city stitcher, the city stitcher hanging, okay? And it is fresh. It's real beautiful. And these little sunflower sample, these little sunflower pieces, um, all are very, very pretty. The scattered seeds, okay? That is a very beautiful chart. I could see anybody, a new a new designer even, putting that out there. So the City Stitcher, really nice. Definitely overlooked. Once again, I do not see people talking about these and stitching them. The City Stitcher. Let's see if I can find embroidery and cross stitch. Let's see what they went for. Four bucks, three dollars, two dollars. And some of these are really awesome. Phoebe's Forest. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if you can. This sold for three dollars and fifty cents. Look at the design. Okay. Yeah, nice. Really nice. So very talented, very talented person. You can find these for next to nothing, and um, I think they're beautiful. I love the sunflower one. I love sunflowers. Okay, that's the City Stitcher. Next, Renato Parolin. Now, some of his designs are very hard to find. Some are not. You can look on Etsy and eBay for these designs, and... Mr. Perlin has a has an Etsy page where he does sell quite a few designs, but not all. Okay, he sells some. So some of the older ones are hard to find. They're gorgeous. This this is stitched by me, but this is a Renato Perlin design. The fabric makes it right, and I. I just put this kind of whimsical, whimsical fabric. Okay. So Renato Perlin, um, this is really uh, overlooked. I'm going to stop this. I got to take a phone call because I'm on call and I will be back. I'm back. 
I can't tell you how much I dislike, oh, and I'm all crooked too, um, having to splice these videos. It, it's, it just takes a while and it's annoying and uh, this is the last time I ever do something when I'm on call. And those were not even emergency phone calls. Those were like, uh, no <laughs> kind of phone calls. Anyway, uh, let's go on. I lost my train of thought. Okay, Renato Perlin. Next. And I don't, how many do you see people out there? Definitely gorgeous stuff. Definitely somebody you, you should look for. Um, here is an interesting one. This is uh, Kanikis. I like this pattern. Her stuff is very, has a very strong scent, just to let you know. It's not a bad scent. It's more like a cinnamon broom. But there are people that are sensitive to it. Um, this isn't bad because it was, looks like it been, you know, away from that. But this is Pumpkins and Vines Candle Mat. And I thought that was, that was awfully cute. Pretty easy to make. You could almost see how they finished it and really prim. So, Kanikis, very not difficult. Let's see how easy it is to find Kanikis. I think she has her own page, and that's where it's uh, that's where it's sold. So let's go. Yep. And let's see. She has mailed cross stitch patterns, which are good. I like them. Um, and her, I don't know where they are, but let's just take a, a one. Uh, shop our goods. There's an awful lot of uh, patterns here. And let's see what the prices are. 14 bucks, $12. So not exorbitant prices. Um, they are on just regular paper, but they're, uh, they're a nice quality paper. And uh, there's a big photograph inside. Okay, so Kanikis has some fabulous patterns. Uh, a while back, I was seeing her patterns being stitched, but she, I just haven't seen them recently. So I would, uh, readily available, not out of print, I would check them out. If you're a prim lover, they're, they're more than prim. There are some that are just really sweet. Take a look. Next, this is a company called Primitive Needleworks. Um, and I will tell you that I printed this out to be my copy, but these are only available on Etsy. And they're only available, they're only available as downloads. Uh, Primitive Needleworks. This one's called Old Tom. That's adorable, isn't it? Very doable, very adorable, easy to make your own linen for. Okay, um, she. let's go on to Etsy and see how much her patterns are. I don't think they're expensive. Primitive Needleworks. Primitive, and once again, uh, Needleworks, it's very difficult sometimes to find things. Uh, Primitive Needleworks, is that her? Uh, that looks like her. So, is it Primitive Stitching? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you can, you can research it. Let's see if I can... Old Tom. Old Tom. Uh, can't find it, but I... Oh, here it is. So her Etsy page is, is called, oh, I hate pop-ups. Her Etsy page is called Prim Needlework with no, one word, Prim Needlework. And um, 10 bucks are these patterns. Check them out. Definitely check them out. Can't believe how many I have. This goes on and on, doesn't it? Uh, next is Cardan. Cardan makes some awesome uh, cross-stitch charts. Not very proliferative, 
but she has quite a quite a nice selection these are darning eggs um, they're quite they're they're a bunch of different stitches um, this is actually a nice little pattern and uh, I looked at this it it some of it's darning and some of it isn't but if you want to get your 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 feet wet in darning this would be a nice little one and uh, she has some other samplers that are fabulous but Cardan uh, antiques and needlework I know that I don't believe that any of them are out of print there's not a lot and what she has is good quality this is a nice chart next Kelscott designs Kelscott makes a lot of scissors but I don't know if you knew that they also make these little kits pumpkin pumpkin okay this kit came with the little mounting board and it was $10.95 including the mounting board that to me is a little bargain um, I don't know if it I don't think it included the fabric I think I bought the fabric yeah so so Kelmscott designs makes holiday little kits that are you can find them i don't think i don't know if they're still being made let's once again look and see if we can find them let's see kelm how do you spell kelm scott kit um i don't see them on here okay you're gonna have to research here uh there's some Kelm Scott Designs kit. Don't see them in here, but that doesn't mean you can't find them. I happen to know the Cross Stitch Cupboard has a bunch of those. And I'm sure if you look around, you will find them. But Kelm Scott Designs has some real cute little kits. Once again, very overlooked. Here you go. Samplers Remembered. They are a sampler, a sampler manufacturer. Once again, reproductions some gorgeous samplers the emma rake is probably the most known and this was 15 dollars. they are not out of print okay but some real beautiful stuff let's see if there's any on the secondary market and uh, i call the attic on this one um i know the cross stitch cupboard had them too samplers remembered let's see Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch in here. Um, actually, no, because there are other ones, for whatever reason, they have samplers remembered. There's a few in here, okay? But you can find these, and uh, you can find these, and like I said, call around, look online. Does she have a website? Oh. As you can tell, we figured we'd do this together. And this is my this is my method of looking for stuff. Samplers remembered. Let's just see what comes up. And there's quite a few. Kitten Stitcher has a whole bunch. A whole bunch. Traditional stitches, shepherd's needle, blah blah blah. So yeah, they're probably not out of print. But check them out. Beautiful. Hester's Needle. These are out of print. Hester's Needle has some very inexpensive designs. These go for like five bucks or less. And beautiful samplers. Look at the border. It's a, such an interesting border. Um, so this is, I believe, a reproduction, a reproductive reproductive re <laughs> this is a reproduction sampler I believe um Hester's needle inexpensive different I don't see anybody stitching them but it could be you next we have the heart's content okay the heart's content makes beautiful designs okay this is a Florida lobster, which is very exciting for me. <laughs> um, the only issue with these, and look at all the stuff it comes with, really nice. And oh my God, these kits, these kits. 
<laughs> Look how nicely everything is just perfect in here. So presented well. But there are so many of these. I did stitch one. Hold on, I'll be right there. So they're over one. You have to feel comfortable stitching over one. Um, it's not difficult once you get the hang of it. This is Heart's Content. I don't remember the name of it, but I stitched it. Cute, right? And um, not a lot of people stitching them, but let me tell you, her designs are really cute. So go on her own website. Um, her, her own website has a ton of stuff, and the prices are actually a little lower than some other places. That's a hint. Okay. Next, this is called Christmas of Old from the Friends of Threads of Gold. This is a whole bunch of these, of these little out-of-print they're, they're ornaments, basically, but they're so cute. They really are, and I'm sure they're cheap, cheap, cheap. Christmas of old. Let's look on here and see what they actually go for. Christmas of old ornaments. Um, don't see a lot. Let's see if we can find them. I don't know if they're Christmas of old. Why am I having trouble? I'm, because I've seen them. Once again, Google is your friend. Christmas of old. And they're ornaments. Um, don't see them. Interesting. Ornament patterns, cross stitch. Sometimes you have to be a little more, especially since they're not made anymore. Christmas of old. I don't see them. I know the cross stitch cupboard has them and I'm sure if you search, you will find them, but they're, they're cheap. <laughs> they're going to be a few bucks and they're so cute. Bright Needle is another one. Bright Needle, I believe, is another one that 1884 bought the rights to, so you can find them on there. They're, they've got some real cute stuff. Uh, this I got at the Cross Stitch Cupboard. I think it was $6, something like that. But these designs, this is Key West, are really adorable. Um, this had a big space in the middle. I thought it would be cute to put a photo of some sort. Especially we go down to the Keys every year. So that was my idea was to stitch this and it's pretty small and put a photo. But Bright Needle, check them out. Here's another, um, um, I put them into overlooked, overlooked uh, charts because I don't see many people stitching them anymore. Um, Lila's Studio. Now... I, nobody was talking about Lila's studio this year for Nashville. Let's go on her website and see, did she have Nashville rela releases? Um, I don't know, because nobody was talking about it. Um, yeah, she did. New release, February 2024. And she did have some cute new, a lot of really nice releases. I'm going to share these on my page. But I don't see a ton of people like talking about it. I don't know why, but I've always wanted to stitch Let Freedom Ring. Don't overlook. This is, uh, I think Lila's studio is one of the most talented out there. Just fabulous designs. Really nice. But um, I sort of put her in there because I haven't seen anybody stitching recently. Um, Maybe there's people stitching and I haven't seen it. I don't know. Um, here's one definitely overlooked. is Willow Hill Samplings, which is another one I believe 1881 bought. And uh, quite a few very patriotic samplers. Um, not really sampler, but this is We the People. Um, in order to form 
a more perfect union. I don't know if you remember this. <laughs> that was Schoolhouse Rock. And uh, that's why I bought it. So take a look at these. Um, let me see. Does she still have a website? Willow Hill Samplings. I don't know. I'm giving you, might be giving you false information. So let's take a look. Willow Hill Samplings. And, um, yeah, she still has a website, so, and there's quite a few beautiful things on here. There's downloads on here, and the downloads are 8 to $10, and there's actually some pretty nice, there's a nice reproduction sampler on here I really like. Is this a reproduction? No, it's not, but it's a Cinderella sampler. Check it out. Can you see it? Isn't that great? <laughs> um, I never saw that one before. See, every day I find something new. Um, so there is a website. So I stand corrected. Don't see a lot of people stitching these. Definitely overlooked. This, there is an end to this. <laughs> Next is Hinzite. Some of these are out of print. Definitely out of print. Um... This is one I don't think is, Sweet Land of Liberty. I barely see anybody talking or stitching about Hinzite. Her designs are great. The little cat in the cup I showed you is a Hinzite design, and that one I know is out of print. I have a rabbit just like that. I don't think I pulled it out, but definitely totally overlooked. Um, and you can find them, just, you can find them, just Google Hinzite. She has her own website you can buy off, but I will tell you some of these designs uh, are out of print. Next is Lilabelle. Lilabelle had another one called Beach House. It is so cute. Look at the, look, look at the, is that a sun? Look at the sun. The palm trees. I thought this was a great little Florida design. Lilla Bell is out of print. So I think, but I'm pretty sure. So let's look up Lilla Bell and see if these are on here. Like I said, these out of print ones are hit or miss. But usually they're not difficult to find. All right, so you can find them in other words. Embroidery cross stitch. Is it Lily Bell? L-I-L-Y-B-E-L-L. -L -L. Okay, so Lily Bell, don't see any on here. Interesting, maybe they didn't sell because I have the sold ones. Okay, let's, let's see, Lily Bell. See if I can find them on here. Um, well, a bunch of Disney ones here. Bell poles. Can't find them on here. Does not mean they're not available. You just have to look. Keep an eye. But Lilabel, I guarantee if you find it, they're going to be very inexpensive. Why can't I find them? Okay, let's look. Lilabel cross stitch. I have a feeling I'm just not looking it up right. Um... Don't see it. Oh, here there are. Here's one on eBay for $9.99. Okay. Another one, Easter House, $8 for um, Stitches from the Heart. So just look look around. They're on there. I Googled it and a bunch came up. Um, very inexpensive, really cute designs. Next is Kesslin. Um, Kesslin has some adorable charts really overlooked and pretty. I mean, I, I just love them. That is a different Christmas tree. Um, this one is one that I started, one of my whips. And this one is Have Yourself a Merry Christmas, and it was it's in a jar top. Okay? There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. It's like an ornament. Um, really pretty colors. I started stitching this on some sort of um, 
like sparkly linen. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a lot of sparkles on it. And I really have to finish it. Why I stopped, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't in the mood of, Christ of doing Christmas, but Kesslins are readily available, not out of print, and really beautiful designs. Um, Examplers from the Heart. Check this out. It's called The Announcement. Is that beautiful? Isn't that pretty? Um, I believe these are out of print. Let's see. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm 99% sure. Let's go on eBay, see what we find. Exemplars from the heart. Really cute designs. Oops. Had that spelled wrong. And they're 10, they're 10, 8, 9. There's a whole bunch of them on here. Um, older charts, really cute. Let me see if I could just find one on here that's beautiful. Okay, this one is Fancy Tulip. It's $14.99. Nice, huh? Right? So, examplers from the heart. Take a look. Wow, almost dropped my... Can you imagine? Okay. Overlooked are tornicon or tornicotton these are how do i get out of here oh shoot there we go uh tornicotton i will tell you are sort of hard to find you just have to keep looking okay um i, I these are three i there's one i did i'll be right back Tornicotton. Isn't that cute? So I did him. These are awesome designs. Didn't take very long. I finished that, by the way. Um, and the way you spell it is T-O-U-R-N-I-C-O-T-O-N. I got this from the Silver Needle. It was $14, just to give you some prices. Um... And uh, they're probably all going to be around that. Just keep looking. Some of them are hard to find. When I stitched that guy, I actually uh, sold the chart right away. And just to let you know, I put this vintage fabric on the back. This was an old, torn, uh, so, uh, what do you call it? A apron. <laughs> so I just put a piece. And you can tell that fell off. Let's pretend that doesn't exist here. <laughs> okay, so torn of cotton. Um, here's one more. Uh, do I see anyone stitching this? No, I, I think I'm the only one who stitched one recently. But keep looking. Next, sheepish designs. Really cute. Some are out of print. Readily available. Isn't that adorable? There's a whole bunch of, uh, I think I might have another one in here somewhere. Uh, some are out of print, some are not. This is old. Uh, they don't go for very much. I'll tell you exactly. Sheepish designs. I love looking up the prices for you. Um, anywhere from $5 to 20, okay? And readily available, some gorgeous stuff. Isn't it great to stitch something nobody else is stitching? Cricut Collection has some wonderful designs. Very prolific. I do not believe anything is out of print. Now talk about dated. The little, the little bear is, but not, not the snowman. Look how cute the snowman is. Look at the gingerbread men and woman. So again, look for look for Cricut. Really inexpensive, readily available, and some awesome designs. This one comes with one, two, three, four, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, 24. 24 little motifs. Next, Blue Whale. I believe these are out of print. Cute, cute, cute. I like a tall, skinny Santa. And again, inexpensive. You can find them. Nobody's stitching them. I saw one person post this last year. The Work Basket, out of print. I have seen these. I have seen these stitched. There's a whole bunch of ones that are like this. I did stitch one and I gave it as a gift, as a uh, exchange gift. It was an ornament. It wasn't like this. It was a... It was in a, a, a magazine, one of the old JCS ornament issues. Um, these are great. The work basket, there's a whole bunch of them. Let's see if they, how are they available. Like I said, eBay is an easy place to look. The work basket cross stitch. Let's see what's on here. And this particular one, uh, 20 bucks, nobody has bid on it yet it's got eight hours this one um there's other ones for six seven eight dollars on here um take a look at these they're great my friend mary stitched a frog just like in that sort of motif and it came out great next is nantucket designs i i believe this was a thrifty find take a look at some of these christmas designs again i don't think the picture should does this justice but these are these are super cute and quickies just quick I sort of like that in an ornament to make an ornament out of or that cheap 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 if you can find this is going to be just a few bucks overlooked next Needle made designs, definitely overlooked, and I don't know why. <laughs> Just fabulous stuff from Linda Vincent. This, check this out. This is an Anne Hathaway needle book. Okay. Just look how pretty this is. And these are, uh, she's so talented. Don't see people stitching them. Um, I did the Civil War needle book. I think I've shown it to you. Unfortunately, I didn't bring it in with me and I don't want to go in the other room, but just fantastic designs and they are readily available. Take a look. Next, I'm not sure if these are out of print, but there is a company named Art Stitch. They're all Art Deco designs. How different is that? And I do have one stitched. Art stitch. Different, right? Really different. Not out of print, readily available. I have a piece of fabric in here. Let's see, I have a feeling this is Lakeside. Just to show you, because these are hard to find. Yep, this is Copper Linen from Lakeside, which is a gorgeous color, which unfortunately you can't find. But uh, I bought it for this. Anyway, Art Stitch. Think of, take a look. They are definitely available. I think their website's still up. Not sure. You can look that up. Okay, this is a company called, this is Deanna Jones. Sorry, I wanna make sure I get that. And there, there are some small miniature samplers, out of print, but available. This is so interesting. Look at the edge of it. And I love how tight it's, it's framed right up to the edge. Let's see, uh, De Deanna Jones. Don't know if there's a company name in there. It doesn't have it. Deanna 
Deanna Jones. I'd like to start a, a group called Neglected Cross Stitch. I don't know if there's any on here. Let's see. Deanna Jones Cross Stitch. See if we can find some anywhere. Um, don't really find them on here. It's not Doreen Jones, it's Diana Jones. Um, you just have to keep an eye out for stuff like this, but for sure overlooked. I'm just wondering if I'm missing the name, the name of the sampler. Whoa, piece of paper in there. Hmm. Not really. Oh, it's from Emily's, it says. So Emily's is what sold the um, threads of gold. Anyway, I got this on the stash unloading. You see these kind of things? Take a look. Neglected. Deanna Jones. Next, the e-sampler. E-sampler is still around. They have a website. Nothing, I don't believe anything's out of print, actually. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But they do have a website. Look on the e-sampler website. And you can order beautiful charts. This is one I've always wanted to do. Okay? They have an awful lot of reproductions. Beautiful. Not out of print. Definitely neglected. Haven't, haven't seen any of this recently. Here's another one. Eileen Bennett. Eileen Bennett has some beautiful things. This is one called the Multiplication Sampler. Sort of like the little different whatever those are. Very beautiful samplers, very inexpensive, just to see what something like that goes for on eBay. Oh, let's see. Here we go. Let's go up to Eileen Bennett. Embroidery cross stitch pattern. Not very much. I see a bunch for $8, $10, $12, $7. But there's quite a few that are beautiful. Don't neglect them. We're getting to the end, don't worry. <laughs> uh, another, another uh, neglected type, uh, something else neglected is Barbara Anna. Now, Barbara Anna is very prolific. And there's quite a, I, there are people stitching it. Um, if you saw this finish, your, your mouth would drop. I saw this finished at the cross stitch cupboard and it was magnificent. Never thought of Barbara Anna as doing the Christmas design. So this is specifically for the Christmas designs. Um, because I see a lot of people, uh, the Mexican girl, I forgot her name. <laughs> Oh, what the heck is her name? But she's got like a mustache kind of thing um, or a unibrow, something like that. But she, there's an awful lot of these designs uh, that show that Mexican uh, motif. But this particular Christmas one, I've seen it stitched once. Really, really just perfect. Loved it. Next. We're almost done, guys. I think we have one, two, three more. No? No, five more. Okay. Bygone stitches. For a long time, this was being stitched. Bygone stitches. This is really a nice Quaker-style Christmas sampler thing. Done in beautiful colors. I mean, I have... I started this and didn't like the, the fabric. But look at... This is Courant. Look at that. And a holly green. I mean, these colors. Talk about luscious colors. Just rich, beautiful. I did not like. I just, I just was, didn't really, I, I just, in fact, I started it twice. Twice! Could not find the right fabric for it. 
and um, will I? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, haven't seen anybody s stitching bygone stitches. I don't know why. So let's see if I could find bygone. I do not think they are out of print. I just want to see if I can find them. Yeah, bygone stitches. I, I see a few of them on here, $10, $15. Um, they have this one I've seen called Yes, Virginia. Um, let me just show this to you. Another fabulous designs. I don't know what it's sold for, but I know the cross stitch cupboard has that one. I saw this stitched up. It's beautiful. Don't see people stitching bygone stitches anymore. Who knows why? Next, under... This is Delaney Woods Treasures. Now, this was an exchange, and you can see there's fabric and everything in here. Um, well, the fabric I picked out because I, well, I'll show you about the fabric. Delaney Woods, you can find her stuff on Etsy. She has an Etsy store. This is a great stocking, just beautiful. I did stitch something of hers. I got a bunch of these things out, but apparently I didn't. This is from Delaney Woods. Okay. All right. And uh, that was a kit, actually, she had. I don't think, she definitely doesn't have those anymore, but um, might be able to contact her if you're interested. But uh, this particular one, I pulled out more than one fabric, and I cannot decide. Let me show you the fabrics I pulled out. This one is Ships Matter, Christmas Eve. Looked at it and said, maybe too much white. <laughs> this is uh, Victorian Red by r, r Reproductions. Perfect color, it's 28 count, which means I have to stitch with two. So be it. And then this is another, um, the heck is this? This is another R&R &R one, which I have no idea what it is, but I know it's R&R. &R. I wanted a real, a real red red. I was, th this I had bought specifically, the Ship's Manor, to uh, do this, but I thought it was too modeled for what I was looking for. Anyway, Delaney Woods, don't see many people stitching. A beautiful, beautiful stuff. Next are these Foxwood crossings. These cross-stitch designs. I showed you some of these. These are the easiest to stitch on paper. See, it's paper. I've given away a bunch of these. I have stitched so many. But these uh, easy peasy, um, they, these are sort of designed to fit on these, and these are like, what did I look them up? Five bucks each, something like that. What a great ornament gift. I brought these as housewarming gifts to like pe my friend, people's houses. As here, this is for your tree. And um, I put a little label on the back that said Stitched by Natalie, and uh, they were a hit. They were a hit, so... These foxwood crossings are definitely neglected, not out of print. You can find them. Foxwood crossings, um, mini sled designs. Is this my last one? Oh, this, I knew I had other things. Let me look up. This is We the People. Who did this? Oh, this is uh, Pledge Allegiance. Excuse me. Who did this one? Um, of course, I don't have it on the back. Here we go. By the Pin Keep. The Pin Keep has some great primitive designs. Fabulous, right? Fabulous. So we've got the Pledge of Allegiance. And, and, and uh, I just sort of stitched this by hand with a piece of the linen that I pulled off. It's a linen thread. And it got mounted pretty. 
And I really like this. It's got little stars that match the stars. The pinky. When's the last time you saw anybody stitch from the pinky? And finally, not finally, <laughs> this is from Margaret and Margaret. This was an experiment where I actually, um, I actually dyed the linen and baked it a little bit after I stitched it. Talk about experiment. I could have really ruined it, but I just wanted to see. Margaret and Margaret, they're out there. You can find these samplers. I don't remember the name of the sampler but Margaret and Margaret, okay? And uh, really pretty designs. They do not go for a lot of money. Let's go back to eBay and see what the Margaret and Margaret go for. She was so happy when I did this one. Margaret and Margaret cross stitch. Let's see. Five, six dollars. That's it. Beautiful designs, really pretty. And finally, um, Susan Greening Davis has some really nice things that she has reproduced. Um, I'm, this is, I think this is just her favorite. This is a journey with Sybil. And it has step-by-step -step instructions to make this needle roll. And um, I posted one on my page. Uh, somebody did this. I believe she did it on tiny linen or over one because it was much smaller. But there's directions to make all of these things in here. This book is about 20 bucks. It's beautiful. Absolutely a beautiful book with lots in it. Um, you don't see a lot of people stitching Susan Sybil's Journey. Um, there's just a beautiful picture, right? And, uh, I, I think that in terms of neglected, underrated, um, not stitched, uh, nobody wow, wow, uh, it is because it is because it's, it's a lot of marketing, but that is, you know, she has got some really cool stuff. Don't discount it. Uh, Amazon had this book. I'm going to go on Amazon. Man, this is a longer video than I thought. Amazon has this book, uh, A uh, Journey with Sybil. I know Susan Greening Davis, uh, it is out of print, by the way, had some, and it looks like there are some on here that are used. Um, and I think it's also on Kindle, it says. So not very expensive. There's one on here for 12 bucks, 11 um, plus uh, shipping. So anyway, you know, about 20 bucks, including shipping. Um, really well worth it. Uh, go for her stuff. I'm, I'm serious. I did not know her until I went to a, uh, like a seminar at the Cross Stitch Cupboard. I've now done two of them. Uh, just, uh, just amazing, amazing things that I learned. She is an absolute darling. And, uh, I hope that more people stitch her things. So let's talk about neglected. So is everybody on here really neglected? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It's my view on the pages that I'm on. I'm always looking to see what people are posting. Uh, and I'm on a number of the designer pages. I did drop off, I don't know what it's called, but there were some pages that were huge and they got weird. Like there were some I don't know, weird commentary and also a little bit of sub subversive cross stitch, which I, I don't like. So I did drop off those, but I'm always looking um, at what also I'm friends with quite a few stitchers and I'm looking to see what they're stitching. And uh, I don't see these particular designers stitched a lot. Okay. If at all, some of them. 
So I think these should not be overlooked. I think it would be great to stitch things that no one else is stitching now. Okay, I think it would be great. And, um, you know, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, why do I think some of these are overlooked? Number one, out of print and retired. People become retired and out of print. Uh, does that affect everyone? Well, not really. Lizzie Kate was incredibly popular. Uh, she is not designing anymore, and the, it was bought by Hoffman, from what I understand. So the charts, at least some of them are still out there, and people are still stitching them. I, I do see them. A lot less. So retirement. Um, some people, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're retired charts, but they're still being stitched a lot. Um... Like, what's, I'm thinking of an example, uh, hmm, what's a, what's a good example of that? Oh, it'll come to me. And, uh, you know, what, what, what people are stitching a lot of nowadays are things that are marketed. So I think things that came to market, uh, when all the shops and online places said pre-order, and they list a finite amount of items that they think are going to be popular. Well, that listing and promoting makes them even more popular. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I think that is, that is good. Things like Blackbird have always been popular. And uh, there's a lot of hype when a new design is released or an old design. Um, so that, that is. Uh, samplers have become very, very popular. Uh, the predominant sampler uh, mat, that sampler reproducer, in my opinion, is Nicola Parkman, and she is awesome at marketing her samplers. Uh, I think that's amazing because I remember when she first started, okay, and when she first started Hands Across the Sea, and it's really just become, it's, it's blossomed, really blossomed. So uh, she does a very good job of marketing herself and a lot of these other people don't market themselves. And nowadays with social media, um, especially uh, Instagram, now I don't do Instagram very much. I, I'm a lurker on Instagram, but and, and some of us old, old farts, we do Facebook. Uh, I, I do think that those who market do get, uh, do get their design stitched. And that is awesome. Nothing wrong with it, but I do think there are a lot out there that should not be neglected. And um, I hope you learned something from this video. If you did learn something, if you did learn something, I want you to put a comment below. If you agree with me, put a comment below. If you disagree with me, put a comment below. Please, please make it respectful. And please, if you disagree with me, um, which I think is absolutely great, I think that's fine, um, tell me why I'm wrong. Because I may be wrong on some of these. I may just not be in an, in, on a website or page or with people that are stitching some of these things that I just don't see. Okay? And I'd like to know because I will join that group and join that page. Uh, but really, I would love to see some of these things stitched. So, marketing retreats, um, uh, those mi mystery boxes uh, have really uh, pushed designers. Um, the FOMO of, hey, this is going to be a limited release, have pushed designers. And uh, I do feel like uh, you should probably not forget about these guys. Beautiful things. How cool is it to stitch something nobody else is stitching? I said that three or four times. That is the emphasis of this video. And I hope you liked it. So till next time, I'm going to be bringing out more of these, what I think are videos talking about things that nobody else is talking about. And uh, I'd like to see discussion. And I really hope uh, you guys like it. So have a great week. And uh, I hope the rest of my call goes better. I was up at five o'clock this morning. Got my first phone call at 1 a.m., 3 a.m., all about the same patient. And then she delivered at about 7.30. So we had a little girl this morning. And uh, I'm always pleased to be the first person who touches this, this person.
the first one. And uh, that's the beauty of what I do. And I still do OB. And uh, I, I hope I could do it for a little longer. Anyway, have a great week. Be well.